is Alex and I'm here in my kitchen. That's my step there. Um, <laughs> we keep that picture in there to remind me how special he is. Um, <laughs> let's get my plastic cup because we're going out into the... I keep looking to the left of you because I've got a new camera and it's got a front screen so I can see myself and it's really weird I keep looking at myself instead of you um, I'm talking quietly because rain is in bed it is it's just gone half past one and um, he starts work at half past six I think mm -hmm. Oh no, he's a half five today. Hmm. He starts at half five today. Hope he remembers that. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> I'm making a cup of tea. Um, I thought I'd just put the camera on to show you what happens on a, a typical day off for me. This is a day off. And as you can see, I've slept through most of the day because it's half past one. <laughs> but I was up till about three o'clock in the morning because Ramy didn't finish work till gone four o'clock in the morning. So I just stayed up waiting for him. But I missed him by about an hour. I fell asleep. So yeah, I've just got up. I've put some dirty clothes on because I've decided I need to go out in the garage and do some work to Mr. Jenkins. And I need to check over the P4 because we're going to London tomorrow because Sunday is the RSR icebreaker meet in Enfield. <laughs> Sorry about the racket. There's me trying to talk quietly for Raymond's sake and there's the kettle making all that noise. So yeah, I'm going to make this tea and I'm going to go outside while well, it's still daylight because what have we got? We've only got a few hours. I'm going to start off looking at Mr Jenkins' boot because I need to do some painting. Um, but I think it's a bit too cold for painting. I've got the heater in the garage so I might put that on. But we shall see. But every day you should start with a cup of tea. Here we go. Put my fleece on. I can keep it warm then. And it's got pockets, which is handy. So last night at two o'clock in the morning, why are you so tall today? You're right up there. Um, how do I get you down? Come down. Oh, wind you down, wind you down. <laughs> there you go. But I'm going to have to turn that front screen off because I keep looking at it looking at myself what do I look like like a mess I do need to shower two o'clock in the morning last night I was painting some rover badges I need another coat of gold and they need a good polish this one's a bit crazed from the weather but that's better that just needs a damn good polish I've got this one here this is an early one these are boot badges, by the way, for the Continental kit on a Rover P6. Um, most of them were gold, but the early ones were silver. They were like a silver leaf. And see, this one's damaged. It's got some damage to it. You can see that. So I've, I've painted the black, repainted the black, repainted the red, but I'm going to redo a bit of the silver leaf. I've kept some of the original, but we need some on the, the Viking's head and the boat there. So that's a job for me. Um, and I've just done the silver leaf on a Rover P4 badge. You can see, I've still got some on my nail, look. No, I'm not swearing at you because that's my um, second finger in from the little. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I've done all that. I painted the, the black, then the red, then the blue, and then did the silver leaf. Very messy. So you can see so what I'll do is I'll put I don't know I'll possibly paint a lacquer on the back of that 
or may maybe a silver paint um, just in case there's any little bits that the leaf haven't gone into but just help to keep it all in place and that 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 looked lovely on a p4 it probably won't go on jesse because um jesse has a 100 badge it says 100 on it but yeah i really like that badge because the re I, I don't know if this is a repro i don't think it is i think this is an original one that i had cleaned um but the repro ones they paint the viking ship silver I don't think we've got any here. No, I haven't got any here at the minute, but the repro ones, they paint all that, you know, sort of a, a, matte, a matte silver, and it looks wrong. But this has got the proper sort of chrome silver leaf to it now. I think it's beautiful. It needs a good polish on the front, but that's got all of its little lugs. I think that's bloody lovely that. Bloody lovely. I've got this spare wheel, um, what do you call it? Bracket, fit, fittings uh, for the boot of a P6. Found that in my spares the other day. Is it, I'm just finding things I don't need, so I'm gonna put them on eBay. So I've got this switch panel as well for a series two Rover P6. No use to me at all. <laughs> So it's a really good panel actually. It's got all the green knobs, they aren't damaged. And the um, little plastic vinyl flaps to cover the screw holes are here. So that's good, both sides. Yep. Uh, found that, and then I found this, which I think is a Rover uh, TC dashboard. I don't think it's the V8. Because I think the V8 had a different oil pressure gauge uh, and temperature gauge. I might be wrong. I think even the RPM was different on the V8. Can't remember. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a TC dashboard. And again, the Perspex is nice. Everything looks in good condition. Whether it works or not, I don't know. But yeah, complicated piece of equipment. But completely useless to me. Unless I buy a Series 2 P6 with twin cups. Uh, these badges here I've been trying to do for my friend Clive. Um, I've tried a few different things to get the silver right on the badges before I do the black. But whatever I do, it just doesn't look right. And I don't want to do a rubbish job for Clive. And thankfully he's not in a rush for the badges. These badges are my friend Jeff's. And uh, he kind of poked me yesterday. I was like, where's my badges? So I'm doing those. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just trying to tidy up this room because my mum's visiting soon. And anyway, I'm blabbing on. See, this is what happens. My day off, I've got lots to do. And I just end up sitting, either thinking about it or just talking about it. So let's get cracking. I'll go out. Oh. So the day starts with a cup of tea and then it starts by letting him out or feeding him, whatever he wants, but I think he's already eaten today. Mm -hmm. Go out. Say hello to the camera. I know they're at a funny angle today. There they are. <laughs> had Jesse uh, down some lanes yesterday and oh my goodness look at the filth there was mud flying everywhere <laughs> poor thing look at the filth <laughs> we've got a show on Sunday and I think really really I should give her a wash oh look see here's the 100 bed it's slightly different to the one I got in the house Um, yeah, really, I should give Jesse a wash. But, 
I hate washing Jessie. I really do. I might just take her to jet wash. <laughs> Look at the, Look at the filth. Mud. Grime. Mmm. Poor Jessie. And uh, someone here looks a little bit damp. Look. Mm. Mm. Is it a little moist inside this vehicle? <laughs> Is it a little moist? Mm. Right. Wakey, wakey. This garage door is getting bad, you know. I put new batteries in the fob, but I've got two fobs and they do the same. I have to stand really close. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't... <laughs> So, don't look in the boot. Um, <laughs> today, <laughs> I've got to sand down all this, just scuff it up a bit, and get it ready for paint. It's not that cold out here today, thankfully, so I think I'll get the old uh, heater on that, warming up. Um, yeah, the boot. <laughs> um, don't judge me, okay? I <laughs> fitted, fitted some fur. Mmm, in the boot. I haven't stuck this bit on properly because we still need to get in there to fit the back lights when we put the wing on. But yeah, this is... Uh, I know, I know. I'm mad. I already did this bit ages ago, but I couldn't get the same fur, so I had to get that stuff. It's a bit yellow. It's a bit yellow, but I like it, okay. It's, hor it's better than that horrible old blooming plasticky crap they put in there. So another job is fit the other bit of fur onto that wheel arch, so it's matching. Um, and then just tidy up the boot. And then that boot in is done inside, in my eyes. I could put fur on here, didn't I? But I'm not going to, I'll leave that. <laughs> so yeah, I will um, sort this out. I think first because all these bits of fur are going to fly everywhere um yeah i don't know how much i'm going to keep you here for but that's where i'm at have you ever watched um alex from all things alex he's got a brown allegro called george and he often has a random car that he plays with uh, his recent one was a little peugeot um what else has he had? A Renault? Just just random cars he's been sort of... I want to say restoring, but more like recommissioning, I think. But the Allegro is his daily driver. Anyway, I digress. I'm asking, have you ever seen his channel? Um, one of the things he does... <laughs> and sorry, Alex, if you're watching. But one of the, one of the things you do is, um, is you like a good cup of tea. And then you'll sit there in front of the camera and you'll just drink the tea. While staring into the camera. <laughs> it tickles me for some reason. You <laughs> just sit there drinking the tea. In front of the camera. And I always wait for you to do something. Like something's going to pop up or something. But... Nothing happens, you just sit there and drink the tea. You've got to do it ASMR style, like... <sighs> like a nice cup of tea. <laughs> <clears throat> just ripping everything out the boot. And I remembered that I bought this proper tool roll. I don't know if it's the right one for a series one. Uh, okay. We've got a few spanners, some nice old pliers, spark plug tools. Um, I should know what that's for. I've completely forgotten. What's that for? <laughs> No, it's the handle, it's the handle for the spark plug tool. <laughs> and Alfred, Philip 
a screwdriver. I think it's one. Is it one you pull out? Yeah, you pull it out and it changes to a flathead. It's all very stiff because it's cold. I'm trying not to rip any of it. Oh yeah, and these little screws. I think they've got something to do with the seats. Car seats, I can't remember now. Right. Hello. He just jumped up on the fence. You've only got three feet. You idiot. Look at him. Oh. Oh my goodness. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone on top of the garage. Okay. Anyway, uh, there's my tool roll anyway, so. Hopefully, never have to use it. It's, um, it's just nice to have, isn't it? Nice to have an original tool kit with the car. I've got the original jack somewhere, but I think it's in the other garage. Uh, it's rubbish, so I'd never use it. <laughs> there we go, stick that in there. So the fluff on this one, I'm not putting all the way down here because I put a lot of my stuff there, like my transmission fluid and polish and everything. So I don't want the fluff there because it's going to get ruined basically. So I'm just, I just want the fluff on this wheel latch here. Um, and then I'm going to keep the original cover wherever it is. Is it behind me? Yeah. I'll keep that original piece because that covers the where the tool roll goes. And again, it, ma it matches the spare wheel cover, which again, I'm keeping. So yeah, that's the only two bits I'm keeping. All the rest of it was ruined, so I threw it away. Um, we're just gonna go for fluff. <laughs> so there's the P6 spare wheel bracket thing. wheel out the way. Mm -hmm. Still got air in it. A bit rusty. Oh yeah. It's uh, it's just started to rain outside. Ah, it's a good job I didn't wash the car, isn't it? Right, I've got more room to get in here now. Um what do I need? I need some pegs. And some scissors. Let's go. Let's get in. <laughs> Ow! Oh, bump right into the kneecap. Ouch. So, how am I going to do this? I don't know. I just make it up as I go along, to be honest. Let's start from this end. You'd be seeing this today. It's a mad woman sticking pink fur into her rubber pieces. Purple rubber pieces. Oh, this flipping weather. I just cut off little bits and then I get covered in it, look. <laughs> I'm definitely not washing the car in this weather, am I? See what this fluff is warm. I feel like I'm just going to end up covering the whole thing. But I didn't want to do that, not on this side. In case any oils leak or anything that I carry. That's the uh, boot light. 
because I don't, I don't leave the, uh, I don't leave the battery connected, so the boot light can go back on. So that can stick up there. But I think that's as far as I want to go. Oh, it wraps around the wire there, so I might leave that like that. Glue that in. Oh, sod off rain. Look at it. Look at me horrible out there. Arlo, Arlo's out there. I'm actually getting wet now. Come on, this rain was not forecasted. No way I'm going to be spraying paint in this weather. Poxy rain. So that's all I'm going to do is uh, that little bit there. And then I'll leave that there because I, I tend to stick things down there like say, bottles of oil. I don't want to be sticking them on a bit of fluff. I was thinking about cutting it back a bit further, actually. Yeah, I think I'll cut it back a bit further, just so the fur sort of laps down. Cut, yeah, from there, so it lines up with that. I know, very uh, <laughs> amusing for you, isn't it? <laughs> These pegs are handy that my stepdad got me. Very handy. Let's go. Yeah, like that. Like that. Maybe a bit further back. <laughs> I might even cut that off yet. I need to see how it looks with all the plastic bit. We're just in the way now. I know you're trying not to get wet, but it's crowded in here. Yeah, that's all I wanted to do was a bit of fluff there, and then the original tool cover here can come along, sit in place. Okay. Yeah, that's as good as it will get. I mean, it's only a little flimsy panel, but it's hooked in tucked in there and so it's, e it's an easy access panel to get to the tool roll you see and the jack would be there as well so I'll keep that and um, we've got the wheel back in I might see if I've got something to put here as a little mat I think I've got some rubber I'll make a little rubber mat here I'll get the wheel in tied up the boot job done um, yeah it'd be nice when there's not a bloody gearbox in the boot <laughs> I've still got surplus amounts of fluff. Here you go, I found some um, old mat left over from when I did the P4 boot. So I've just cut the length here and gone under the fur so it looks nice. <laughs> I've cut a little slot there for the uh, wheel mount and then I've cut around here so it fits nicely into the well. And then that can just sit over the top. Stick it in there. It's alright. Could have been a bit wider over here, but you know. I'm rubbish at measurements. <laughs> so I'm happy with that little map there. Lovely. I am very happy with this. This is me. This is this is good. I don't really like that piece of material at the back, and I will probably replace that at a later date. Um, but not at the moment because bloody gearbox in the way. <laughs> so I might just give that a wipe over, clean it. Um, still don't know what to do with that fluff. I might just bin it. It's left over. It's going to get the wheel. Oh, excuse you. You just slipped. Uh, I'm going to get the wheel back in now. Get all my belongings in there. And then, yeah, I'm really happy with the inside of the boot. That that will do me. And I can get down here and sand it now it's stopped raining for now. You down there. I don't know, I've got a thing about getting you tall today. Getting you up, up tall. I wasn't gonna have you out here at all to be honest, but um we I've got this little windy thing on the stand and you just go really tall. There you go. <laughs> right, let's get the uh, slightly damp wheel back in. It's only slightly I 
I could paint the rim, but um, because it goes under a cover, I can't be bothered. It's only a spare, so uh, I might paint it one day when I'm bored. But I've got enough to be getting on with. That's the least of my worries. It's in there. That's just that little bit of fluff in there that I wanted. So you can't see the rubber mat or anything, but it's in there. That fluff's there, that's a bit in your face, isn't it? Uh, obviously this won't be here at some point, whenever I get the gearbox fitted into the car. But yes, that will do for the boot. Oh, steaming up, Arlo. Arlo's hungry. Arlo. <laughs> I'm hungry too. I just cooked this uh, macaroni and cheese with sweet potato. So I think the camera lens is steaming up. But Raimi's done all the washing up. Bless him. And I made some, some dinner. Everybody's going to eat. <laughs> we are in the darkness ah! um yeah i've decided to try and shut myself in well i have shut myself in i've got a heater on and um i'm just gonna lightly scuff up the areas that i want to paint and um hopefully if it warms up in here nicely i can get some primer on, <clears throat> or at least get it all um, rubbed up and masked up. Get some primer on, and then we're, we're halfway there. Then. Once the primer's then hard, another day, I can come in <coughs> and uh, scuff it all down again, paint some stone chip paint some black paint and that's that done no welding thank goodness for that I gave in and opened the garage door I didn't have any room so I've um, I sanded it down scuffed it all up and I'm just using my degreaser now and just get rid of all the any grease or uh, sand you know dust and fluff from the boot <laughs> and get all that out of there ready for the paint to stick right I'm losing daylight so I put my really bright torch on so I'm blind now um, I've had the garage door sh I've sanded it I degreased it I masked it and then I shut the door and I had the heater on for a little bit so it's not freezing cold metal that I'm going to spray to now which is good it is pretty cold outside as you can see my breath um, but I think we're alright I'll get the paint on and then I'll put the heater back on shut the door let it let it dry um, because all we're doing is primer tonight and we're not going to go too mad with the primer because we only really want to put it on the bare metal bits so it all looks black at the moment because I use rust killer um, but I can see the bits that aren't painted because they're not knobbly bobbly so I just need to concentrate on those bits I mean I'll go over it all but the main thing is to do those smooth bits and then we can get some fresh stone chip in an ideal world, yeah, you probably would have scraped all that knobbly wobbly stuff off. But to be honest, I've had a good whack at it with wire brush and a hammer. And that stuff is not coming off easy. And when it does come off, underneath it is alright. So there's not really any point. I'll just leave it there. Factory stuff. It's lasted this long. So. But it's just these 
bare metal bits that we need to do uh, to look after. Now I've got a really rubbish mask, but at least it's something. I've been shaking this bloody can. I hate shaking can. Let's see if we can get a bit of prime on tonight. Torch ready. Is, um, dried off probably it's probably gonna be about a week until I get out of here realistically but that's good that will dry it off and um, then it can be sanded down and, and stone chipped oh we nearly finished this back bit thank goodness for that well it is now actually I can't really read the time <laughs> oh my goodness quarter to eight at night it's dark it's very cold actually and I finally decided to come back in the house for good this time. <laughs> I've um, actually I'll just open the door because I think um, I think Marlo might be out here. I need to wash my hands. Arlo? Oh, I don't know where Arlo is. No idea. But I did a little job on Jesse. I finally fitted this new mesh. My friend had it, um, oh gosh, what's the word? Is it electroplated or something? Because my other one, I just painted silver, but the rust gets, comes through. This has actually been, is it galvanized? Oh, I can't remember the right word for it, but it's been coated. And I've put, put it in with some new screws. I know sacrilege Phillips screws, they should be flathead, but it's fine. I've checked the oil, the water, uh, well, I've topped it all up, I've topped up the um, dash pot and the carb and I checked the exhaust as well because I thought it was blowing and it is it's blown from the rear pipe. I thought it was the silencer but I think it's the rear pipe. But I give it a good shake and knock around and I don't think it's going to fall off. So Jessie's ready for London, she's still filthy but it's way too cold to be washing a car. I might wash her tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with the little jobs I've done. I had to adjust the rod on that flap as well because it wasn't opening and closing properly. Oops, excuse me, I'm getting a bit peckish now. Um, yeah, tidied up the garage a bit, tidied up my hallway a little bit because this was all full of car parts here. But it's all it's all quite empty now, which is a relief because my mum's going to be sleeping in this room um, when she visits next week. So I need to make sure it's clear. Oh, anyway, I am gonna have. I think I'm gonna have a bath. I'm gonna have a cup of tea, and I'm gonna have a bath, and I'm gonna eat some chocolate. Um, I'll just show you the chocolate. Russell and Atwell saw it on Dragon's Den. I don't watch Dragon's Den, but I saw a video clip on Facebook. Um, I thought I'd try it, and it's really good. It's really good chocolate. Mm -hmm. Expensive, but fresh, and you keep it in the fridge. It's my favourite. I love. I love chocolate in the fridge. So yeah, have a bath, have a, have a bit of chocolate, have a cup of tea, um, and yeah, I'll probably finish tidying up this spare room for my mum. Uh, yeah, and then London tomorrow, and Rover Show on the Sunday, so I better go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my day off with me. Bye!